Well, yes. Out of respect for you and your show, <laughs> I've brought some facts. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> if you'd like, oh, they're oh, actually. You just, you just get the fuck <laughs> out of here. This thought, is not the place. I thought that you like no, facts. No, no, no I, we do. No, we love like facts. I love facts. I wouldn't have mentioned it. I'm English, and you know that politeness is our fundamental religion. Um, yeah. <laughs> but they do pertain to this issue. So may I say something? Please, please, if they please inconvenience do. you, I I, I'll stop saying them. The pandemic created at least 40 new far big pharma billionaires. Pharmaceutical corporations like Moderna and Pfizer made a thousand dollars of profit every second from the COVID-19 <laughs> vaccine. More than well. two thirds of Congress received campaign funding from pharmaceutical companies in the 2020 election. Pfizer chairman Albert Baller told Time magazine in July 2020 that his company was developing a COVID vaccine for the good of humanity, not for money. And of course, Pfizer made a hundred billion dollars okay. in profit right. in 2022. Right. And may I just mention, finally, and these are, this is also a fact, that you, the American public, funded the development of that. The German fund, public funded the BioNTech vaccine. When it came to the profits, they took the profits. When it came to the funding, you paid for the funding. All I'm querying is this. Yes. Is if you have All an right. economic system in which pharmaceutical companies benefit hugely from medical emergencies, where a military industrial okay. complex benefits from war, where an energy companies benefit from energy crises, you are going to These generate right. states of perpetual crisis yes. where the interests of ordinary and, and, people well, yes. and, separate from the interests of the elite. And